name is Kate. And my name is Michelle. And, and we're, we're students, students from Linfield Public School. School. And we're going to talk about text. We want to prove that the tongue map is a myth. This is a so-called tongue map. At the top, it's bitter. On the sides, it's sour. In the middle, it's salty. And down the bottom, it's sweet. Is this really how we taste? Let's find out. I, we're using the lemon to demonstrate sour. We're using sage to demonstrate bitter. We're using salt to demonstrate salty. And we're using sugar to demonstrate demonstrate sweet. So maybe I'm going to do an experiment on cake. I'm going to put one of these flavours on the sweet side of her tongue and we're going to see if she can identify what food I'm putting on her tongue. First of all, I need a blindfold. I'm going to blindfold her eyes and nose so she can't see or smell what I'm going to put in her mouth. Okay. I'm going to do... This one on the tip of her tongue. That tastes bitter. Is it sage? Yes, it is! Here we go. It's sour. This means it's lemon. Wow, it's not looking good for the tongue map myth. The reason why Kate recognises this, as I put the sage onto her tongue, the, there are lots of little cells all around the tongue recognising each food group. So, as the cells taste the bitterness of the sage, they send a message up to the brain saying it is bitter. This shouldn't be happening if the um, tongue map was true, but this proves it's not. 